The Chuck E. Cheese I grew up with would have today's Chuck E. Cheese in the back of a trunk. That's for sure. Who remembers saying, Call me back after nine when my phone is free because I'm running out of minutes for the month. Challenge. Name an 80s or 90s TV show with just one word in the title. First one I think of is Cheers. Who should be the last character to be added to the horror icon Mount Rushmore? That's easy. Chucky. A large part of the population today have never known life without the Simpsons. If you want to know what's going to happen next in real life, just go back and watch some of the past Simpsons episodes. This whole no smoking with the kids in the vehicle thing is ridiculous. Look at him. He's just cold. I'm sorry, but you didn't respect the punch. I showed a custom built DeLorean in a past episode. This is another one I come across. It's the time machine with a crossover to Jurassic Park. On the last one I showed of these, I thought there was only four movies that they had built into the car, but there was actually a fifth movie that a bunch of you guys pointed out in the comments. So with that said, am I missing one here? Probability of me maturing. None. Also none, but in yellow to make Pac-Man. Who remembers this train? Ever ready should bring back this design. I always liked these batteries as a kid, just because of the nine lives cat. Whoever made this one even put their signature down in the bottom left hand corner. Can you just imagine dropping this or somebody bumping into you pretty hard after you spent who knows how many hours trying to draw this out? And I've seen some that's even more intricate designs. I'm gonna make you millennials start feeling old too. The Teletubby Sun Baby has a baby. One time I was late to practice and the coach made me run laps. My dad was the coach, and he drove me to practice. That sounds about right for parents in the 80s. <laughs> Man. What's the name of this dog? Press the correct letters on your keyboard and leave your answer in the comments. Shut up. I barely touched you. Hey man, I mean, I've seen some bad ones, but that's pretty bad for just an open-handed slap. You may be old, but are you this old? Yeah, I remember these. Maybe down at the pool hall in places. Nobody really cared. When it's 1988, and you and your homies about to get six bag of Taco Bell and rent Predator from Blockbuster, all for seven bucks. Who's your ride or unalive Saturday morning cartoon doggy? Had a similar meme on a past episode. Some of these are the same, but there's also some different ones here. Out of these listed here, I don't know if I could afford to feed him, but I guess I'd pick Scooby-Doo. Grandma, want to have a beer with me? Me, but Grandma, I'm only 14. Grandma, weak, like your parents. I think Escape from New York was better of the two. Video games in the 80s. Run, jump, eat this flower, collect the coins. Video games now. You are a broken man, haunted by the choices you've made. You do not fear the sweet embrace of unalive, but you still have unfinished business. Share this video if you rode in the back of a pickup as a kid and survived. 
Well, if you're watching this video, I'd assume it's a safe assumption that you survived. But I'd still greatly appreciate it if you'd hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. So, In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins came on a few minutes ago at work. I was the only person who did the air drum solo. I don't want to work here anymore. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. How many people remembers the Smurf labeled Chef Boyardee? Without revealing your actual age, what's something you remember that if you told a younger person, they wouldn't understand? Well, I'm not as old as the date on the coins, but I've collected them since I was a kid, and still do today. But, something that most of the younger generation wouldn't understand, is that back in the day, you could even melt quarters down, and they'd still be worth money. How many of you remember the Rock'em Sock'em Robots? This is one of the best, well, it's not a board game, but I guess you'd call it a box game? In any case, this was one of my favorite games when I was a kid. Why can't we have a normal nuclear apocalypse instead of this slow, agonizing collapse? I sort of agree with this. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't like either one. But at this point in time, with the way things are in the world, and especially in the U.S., if you had to pick one of these options, in my opinion, the slow, agonizing collapse is worse. Legend says they still haven't finished their chess game. Use your demons to your advantage. Yeah, it's, that's just not right. Your mall's Stanley Cup. You guys heard about this Stanley Cup craze? I think it's ridiculous. People's nuts. Some people's paying like hundreds of dollars for them on eBay or something. And on top of that, there's people stealing thousands of dollars of them at a time. Just walking out with entire shopping carts full of them. And I guess they take them and put them on eBay. The Stanley Thermoses and Cups has been around for decades. I don't know if this younger generation just discovered them or what happened. Yeah, this is kind of like me. Me as a kid, moving the TV in the 90s. Oh, that ain't nothing. Go back to the 70s and 80s. That moment when the music you listen to in high school is being played on the oldie station. I think the only one worse than that is when you hear it being played on the Walmart radio station. Only some people will get this. How many people remember this awesome board game? Probably the only board game that we played as kids more than this one was Monopoly. The only way I would stand a chance in Jeopardy. This is true. 1985 versus 30 years of makeup versus 30 years of real life. Biff looks better in real life than he does in makeup. Christopher Lloyd still looks pretty good for his age. And if it wasn't for his health problems, Michael J. Fox would be in pretty good shape. 1989 versus 2023. After all these years, Morgan Freeman is actually aging. And just like that, 1999 was 25 years ago. Yeah, when we were all still looking forward to Y2K. When your friend hard carried, but you still talk eight year old's haircuts now. My haircut when I was eight. How many people used to watch Marty Stauffer's Wild America? I loved that show when I was a kid. I think I watched every single episode. For some reason, I thought Marty Stalford passed away a few years ago. But apparently, he's still doing pretty well at the age of 75. Fun fact, the final scene where the T-1000 imitates Sarah Connor was done without using special camera effects or CGI. Linda Hamilton played the Terminator, while her twin sister, Leslie Hamilton, played the real Sarah Connor in the back. That's actually pretty cool. 
I didn't even know she had a twin sister. This guy has to be Gen X. He has no legs and climbs Mount Everest. What's your excuse? His legs won't hurt. Mine will. That Xavier guy has always got some hilarious comments. I showed just one roll of caps in a past episode and asked how many knew what it was. There was a bunch of you that had to write answers. So how many of you had these as a kid? How many people remember the Macho Man Slim Jim commercials? So boring. Well, so how many high school boys does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> what a light up your life? Yeah! Give me those Slim Jim! Turn to the spice! Baby, you took the dice! You might be old if one point for everything you've done. I got all 24 points. How many points did you guys get? Punch your number keys and leave it in the comments. Kellogg cereal bowls, 1995. Looks like somebody needs to rewash a couple of those. The I grew up with no internet starter pack. The only one I didn't like was Minesweep. I never did understand that game, and I never was any good at it. The baby Lisa Kudrow was pregnant with during season four is now a college graduate. If your dad owned one of these grills, you're a child of the 80s. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that they still sell these. How many people remember McDonald Bucks? There are three types of friends. Gen Z, I hope you're okay. Millennials, stop falling down the stairs. Gen X, how to ground taste. My dad and uncle accidentally cosplayed as Mario and Luigi. That's pretty funny. Which list would you choose? Red, blue, or green? I guess I'd have to go with green, just because it has jaws in it. Who else grew up in a home where you ate while your mom cooked, or you didn't eat at all? Men, what's preventing you from dressing like this? I understand dryer settings. That, and I don't wear women's pants either. Let's make an 80s mixtape. Everybody add a song. I'll start first. Queen with another one bites the dust. I sure hope that we don't have any more of this this year. I will never understand this. I actually knew how this worked at one point in time, but I forgot now. I think the inside was like a double wall or something. What if they remade Home Alone, but with an adult Kevin defending his home on Purge Night? This should be a real movie. The Dollar General. I think this is one of the best knockoff General Lees that I've ever seen. How 22 year olds looked in the 70s. Remember waiting for the TV to warm up? It kind of looks like they got a slim DVD player or Maybe one of the new thin satellite boxes underneath the TV there. If you know, you know. And if you know what movie this is from, beat up your keyboards and drop your answers below. Some Redditor is mocking his dad for this 80s handset that's plugged into his iPhone. All I can say is, that looks amazingly comfortable. The old style phones were a lot more comfortable than these rectangles we carry around today. If I have to talk on a phone very long, which I really don't do very often, I put it on speakerphone because I just can't stand to sit there and keep holding that thing in my head. And with the radiation that comes off of these things these days, I guarantee you it's not good for you.
When you're trying to have fun, but you remember that you're a slave living on a tax plantation. This doesn't really belong in this video. This is supposed to go over my Laugh While the World Burns video series. But this is true. Fun fact. Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood, 1988. During filming, the dressing room for Kane Hodder was a quarter of a mile down a dirt road. One night, filming ended at 2 a.m., and he was still in the Jason costume, and he decided to walk through the woods on a path to his dressing room. As he was walking, someone approached him and asked if he was with the movie. He didn't reply because he thought it was a pretty stupid question to ask as he was standing there in a full Jason costume. The man asked again. Kane took a little lunge for the guy and grunted. The guy took off, tramping and running. The next day, the director told Kane that the local sheriff was supposed to stop by, but he never showed. Back in a time when McDonald's didn't look like it belonged in a prison. Ibuprofen is a type of angel that can live inside a bottle in your house. And then they give a bunch of bad things that it causes. And it's true, it's really bad on your liver and kidneys. Fun Fact Marion Stokes, a Philadelphia woman who began taping whatever was on television in 1979 and didn't stop until her death in 2012, the 71,000 VHS and Betamax tapes she made are the most complete collection preserving this era of TV. They are being digitized by the Internet Archive. Just show this one and move on. How many people ate these as a kid? And when did you discover that you could put them in the microwave? This is a reminder that there are a lot of cool cars that are widely unknown. This is a Toyota Starlet. These things were quick. They weighed 1,700 pounds and came with a 135 horsepower Turbo I-4. Yeah, but they didn't look like that stock. Who knows how much money that they got in that car right there. Not that the stock ones were a bad thing though. Downloading a file in 1999. What was it? Well, the only thing I could find with that file name was a program called Hot Metal Pro, which was apparently an HTML editing software. And yes, how many times did you guys see a download that showed that it would take months or even years? I wonder how many people actually left a computer running 24-7 trying to download something that showed weeks or months. I doubt if anybody would do it if it showed years, but I could see somebody doing it for weeks or months, though, if they really wanted it. Sorry, I'm not scanning a QR code for your menu. I'm with the boomers on this. I agree. I think that's stupid. If you're showing a QR code in place of a price tag or a menu or whatever, no, I'm not going to bother with it. I'll skip it and go look elsewhere. 1986, 1998, 2010, 2024. How Gen X edited people out of photos. You see a rat, but I see a hard-working dad just trying to feed his four teenage turtles. Reject modernity. Embrace tradition. I agree with this. 100%. I don't need a vehicle that has to download updates in order for it to work. I also don't need a vehicle that can repo itself and drive back to the dealership on its own. And I certainly don't need a vehicle that I have to make monthly payments on. Click on one of the videos above to help support the channel. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. This is Acorn. Over and out.